All right, in this video, I'll show you some card control technique. This is a Paul to Paul idea. It's a way of um, maintaining the, the control over a card after it's been returned to the pack. So for example, let's say uh, the seven of spades was chosen. You can very cleanly place it back in the pack and push it in. And from the front, it looks like all, all is fair, but from the back, you'll see that we still know exactly where that card is in jock. Okay, so then from here you can just uh, um, convert that into a thumb break, convert it into a pinky break, and then do some kind of card control or just cut it to the top or whatever you want to do with it from there is up to you. But I'm going to show you how to get that in jock. Okay, and I really like this because it's just such a fair way of uh, returning the card to the pack. And it looks like there's no way you could possibly still maintain control over it, and yet you do. So, um, oh, and the other good thing is that it's super easy. Okay, all you have to know how to do is a thumb fan. I've made a video for that in the past. I'll put a link to it. And then you also need to be able to close the fan. Okay, well, you don't have to do it with the one-handed method. You can you can use it just like a two-handed close like that as well. All right, and, uh, but I teach the one-handed method in that same video, so you can check that out. Here's what you're gonna do. You take out a card. This is the selected card, for example and you're gonna do the thumb fan and you can either ask them to stick it in the pack or you can just grab the card from them and do it yourself. You stick it in and then you're gonna act like you're pushing it in. Well, you really are pushing it in, but as you're pushing in, what I'm doing is I'm applying pressure downwards my, with my left thumb here. Okay, so I can push it in, but because I'm applying that pressure there, it doesn't allow it to go all the way in. It, it can't, you know, there, there's just, uh, it's like a break almost, okay? So what I do here is, I do this process really quick. Like I don't push it, like I don't make this a big moment. I just casually push it in, and then in the process, that's when I start closing the spread. And I use a one-handed close, but I suppose you could do this. Okay, now, after you do that, the cards are gonna be a little bit messy, but after you square it up, you'll notice that that card is still gonna be in junk. It just works, give it a try, and you'll, you might surprise yourself. It's just a really uh, nice principle there. And um, really that's all there is to it. I can't really break it down any further than that. Just uh, give it a try and it will work. Normally what I do from there is I, I, I convert that to a thumb break and then maybe I'll do a double undercut to the top. Or you could do a pass or I'll leave that up to you, okay? So I hope you like that move. Um, have a nice day, bye.